Okay, let's show off the problem here. Let's see if I can get in here without uh, blocking the screen too much. Hopefully not. It only shows up if an object is on the far left. Doesn't matter where on the far left. stay within that little window there. You can see, see all the lines. Oops. You can see the lines as they're all on this side of the screen. So something a little bit can be all strung out like that. It's like flattened out. <laughs> Game over. But that should show it. Okay, trying to figure out these vector lines. I hooked up uh, the slice tool to uh, what is that that is uh, d7 which over here is a counter this is in the X section and as you can see it does the slice tool does not like it so it could be a bad chip um, we'll see if I have I have what yeah I have 161s let's see if I can piggyback well, I don't know if I can really piggyback because it's not really noticeable on the scope. It's only noticeable in the cab on a real monitor. Uh, I might just socket it and replace it just to see. Uh, we'll take a little quick look at that pin on the scope, but fact that it's not it's right most of the time but there's a 0.01 percent that it is not right which might be just enough to give us those graphics collisions Okay, I pulled the machine socket out so I could see what was going on. Uh, this trace here was broken and they had jumpered it to the bottom of that pin. Not sure how good a contact that was making, but they did it on the top for some reason. And they jumpered another wire to this, which I took the jumper off. We're going to have to figure out where that goes. I think it... May have continued onto that one, but we'll figure that one out. Of course, they lost a bunch of pads here, and this one, this pad here. Let's see if we can focus a little better. This one here is kind of iffy. I think it's lifted a little bit, but we're going to put in a regular socket and go from there and just test the connectivity between all the pins and where they should go. Okay, now I know why they had the jumper, because right here, this trace 
goes to here to here to this pad here and then this one went from here to here so we're gonna have to jump her from here to here on the back side and then from here to here so I'm gonna go ahead and remove that solder again so I know what via to solder to